The Vifly Finder 2. Yes, you should buy one, perhaps several. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. So stick around. So why is the Vifly Finder 2 so great? Well, first of all, let me just say, full disclosure, they did send me this unit to test, which I do appreciate. So thank you, Vifly. But uh, I won't make any money off of any more that they sell. So when I tell you to buy this, that's not because I'm going to make any money. Okay. So first of all, um, because if you are going to buy this, you want to know how much it costs. This is about $15 right now. And I think they have a deal for like three for $40. So that's very cool. It's pretty cheap. And you might be thinking like, oh man, $15 for a buzzer. Like I already spent a bunch of this other money on my quad. Why would I want to spend another $15? Well, that's exactly why you would want to spend another $15 because this is actually some fantastic super cheap insurance that will give you a way better chance of finding your quad if you lose it or when you lose it because I mean let's be real it's gonna happen so the coolest thing about this of course is that it has an onboard battery now with the onboard battery that means that you can still uh, use the beep or it will beep automatically when your quad battery gets ejected which is the, there's a very good chance of that happening in a uh, good crash. So that is super useful. And we'll talk about how the that works operationally in a little bit. And the other thing that it, this little guy has is actually a really bright blue LED light that turns on automatically when it's dark. Out of the box, the Vifly Finder 2 came with the connecting cable to connect it to my quadcopter and a little zip tie to attach it to my quadcopter. Um, I had no problems uh, attaching it. The manual had pretty good instructions as far as how to attach it to different types of uh, flight controllers or a receiver. That's the other thing that they're uh, advertising with this uh, upgraded Finder 2 is that, uh, I mean Finder 2 as opposed to the original Finder, you can connect it to an airplane type receiver. Now given that that is the case, I do wish that they would have provided a uh, servo lead style uh, cable to directly connect it to a uh, airplane types uh, receiver but since I'll be using this on my quadcopter um, I have not tested that out and uh, it worked out okay but if I did want to connect it to a uh, airplane receiver I would probably have to find another cable or just do a little bit of soldering now how loud is it well it's pretty loud it is sufficiently loud here's a test that I did outdoors uh, to kind of give you an idea of the loudness now of course this might be different in person depending on you know how the microphone and picks this up but uh, here's a little outdoor test for you what I'm gonna do is I'm going to compare the finder 2 that I have on my quad here with the just kinda your run-of-the-mill beeper now this one has two little beepers two little little beeper beepers it has two little beepers and so it, it I think it is louder but we're gonna use this because uh, it's pretty standard and we're gonna compare this to the finder I'm going to go all the way down there to the fence, which is about 60 yards away. Okay. So there's the finder two. So I'm going to do finder two. Now this one. So that, that second louder one was the standard one. And that's kind of how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have the beep beep from here and then the beep beep from here. So let's back up a little bit. And then I did a little test at night just to kind of give you an, an idea of the uh, blue flashing LED. Um, unfortunately, you can't see it too well uh, due to how I had the camera set up. You can't see it too well at a longer distance, um, but it is much brighter and more noticeable uh, to the human eye at night. So let's talk about the operational aspects of the Vifly Finder 2. The way that this works is that it activates or it arms rather when you plug in your main quadcopter battery it arms it'll beep and they'll say hey I'm armed it won't actually say that it will just beep once it's armed when the quadcopter battery becomes disconnected it will start beeping and I like I really like the way that they did this is they they made it so that it beeps at low volume for the first 30 seconds of the of the beep 
cycle or while it's activated. After 30 seconds and up to two hours, it will do a max volume beep every four seconds. And it will also uh, flash the blue light if it's dark outside. And then after two hours, it will do a max volume beep every 10 seconds. And that's to conserve battery life. So uh, they say that the working time is up to 30 hours, which I'm not sure if that's like max beep at night you know with the uh including the blue light because obviously if you crash your quad in the afternoon it's going to get dark and then you're going to have the light the blue light going off and then as well as the beeping so i'm not sure about that so the charge time is 1.5 hours now i i did notice that um when i first turned it on when i had connected it to my quadcopter for the very first time, the beep was not nearly as loud as a little bit later on once the quadcopter battery was connected for a little bit, thereby charging up the Finder battery. In the manual, it, said, it mentions Vicense will also keep silence in the night to save power, no disturbing your neighbors. Now, I'm a little confused by that, not because of the grammar, just because it says that it will um, keep silent so I would think that that would mean that at night it won't beep when the blue light is flashing and it, it would just flash the light but I did not find that to be the case and I think that's a good thing because um, I think that it would be very helpful to have the beep as well as the blue flashing light now maybe that's after two hours the beeping stops and it's just the flashing light if it's dark I'm not sure I didn't test that out so once you're ready to disconnect your quad battery, like after after you fly, um, you, you'll need to disarm the beeper because it will start beeping to let you know, hey, I'm beeping and I'm about to get a lot louder. It's doing the lowest setting beeps and it'll beep like that for about 30 seconds. Basically to say, hey dummy, you gotta disarm me otherwise I'm gonna keep beeping. So there are two ways you can do that. You can uh, reconnect your quad battery for just a couple seconds and then it will uh, disarm the beeper or you can press the little disarm button on the beeper it's a very small yet easy to access button and uh, that is something to consider as well for your placement on the quadcopter it might be nice like i put mine on the back so that i can just press the button um, and get easy access to that and you just hold that button down for a couple seconds until it does a little beep and then it lets you know that it is disarmed you know i disconnect my quadcopter battery you know turn off the gopro and then just uh pressed a little disarm button and I found it to be quite easy to remember to do that not a big deal and of course you'll want to know how does this affect your quad in flight well here's some flight footage for you I'm just kidding of course it's not really going to affect the way that you fly very much in flight it's just kinda sitting there it only weighs five grams Overall, I am super pleased with the Finder 2. I have just found it to be, I found it. <laughs> I have found it to be uh, well worth its weight on my quadcopter. Gives me a lot of peace of mind and is also just useful as a beeper um, to alert me that the quad is doing different things. So it has a practical use as well as being used in case you lose your quad, which would really suck. But uh, I think you'd have a much, 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 much better chance of finding your quad with this attached. So that is why I say it is well worth its weight on your quad. I think it's well worth the $15. I'm probably going to get a couple more for my other quads and planes because look, if you're, uh, if you lose your quad, you know, um, sometimes it's not a big deal. Like if you're flying in, uh, in I don't know, in a football field or some, some area with short grass or concrete, you can find your quad pretty easily. Um, but maybe you your quad goes down in a big old field like at Flight Fest. Um, I lost my Carbon Cub uh, uh, airplane, which is a pretty big yellow airplane, and I could not find it. If Man, something the size of this quad goes down in some really tall grass in a big old field, man, you are not going to find it. But, um, you know, maybe you walk around and you beep this thing, or maybe wait until nighttime, especially once the wind dies down and it gets dark and you start beeping this thing, or you just, uh, you know, you, you find it and it's beeping. I think it would be way easier to find with the with the Finder 2 attached to it. So, I know it sounds kind of sounds like I'm just like raving about this and kind of pushing this on uh, on you, but I think it is well worth uh, the money to have this. Because I mean, think about this. You know, you you have your quadcopter. You have it's a big inve investment. You know, maybe you're 
quadcopter alone costs like 500 or something and then maybe you have you know uh a, like the the new gopro black or whatever and so you have like almost a thousand dollars or something in your quadcopter why not spend another fifteen dollars and have a little beeper on there um because i mean it's probably the next best thing to like gps tracking or something like that so there it is the vive life finder 2 that's what i thought of it i think you should get one that's why um i hope you enjoyed this review if you have any questions leave them in the comments below let me know what else you'd like to see on this channel thanks for watching i appreciate your support appreciate your comments and uh subscribing if you haven't subscribed already to this channel consider doing so because well it would make me happy and uh also, uh, you would uh, be able to know when I come out with more videos and stuff. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We are here with my two biggest fans. This is, what's your name? Ultra Kid! This is Ultra Kid, and this is Pip Squeak. What I want you to do is tell me how loud do you think this little beeper is? Because you see this little, see this little quadcopter? See, it has a little beeper on the back. Kind of loud. Do you see that? Like, beep. You think so? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this switch. Apparently it's free left. Okay, what about this? Does that sound louder or, or not? Yeah, loud. Does that now sound? Now can we fly it? Okay, thank you very much, Ultra Kid. Bye bye. Pip Squeak. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, back to you. Nailed it! High five!